Your AM radio kit comes in a bag. It consists of a PCB, components, and a manual. In your circuit, you have a ferrite rod antenna, a speaker, a potentiometer that controls the volume, a tuning capacitor for selecting stations, a frequency detector, and an audio amplifier to drive the speaker. As we did before, place all your components in without soldering them. Once you've placed your components in, make sure that the orientations are correct before you start soldering. Once you solder them, make sure to cut the leads. Also be sure to check for any solder bridges. So first we'll go ahead and put in all the resistors and diodes. Remember that the black notch on the diode is the line on the circuit schematic. and that the cylindrical capacitors are the ones that are polarized. They have a negative marking on the side, gray. It indicates that it's the negative side. C6 actually has to be placed on the back side of the circuit. Um, so what you're gonna do is make sure that the negative lead is facing the south side of the board and it'll go through the back. C7 will go through the front like the others. After you've soldered those components, you're gonna put in the potentiometer. Potentiometer comes with a washer and a nut. So essentially you're going to put the washer on first, then the nut. You're going to screw it in and then you will solder all five legs of the potentiometer. Up next to place on your circuit is your speaker your IC audio amplifier, your IC tuning circuit, your ferrite rod antenna, and your tuning capacitor. Your potentiometer comes with a cap. Be sure to place the cap on. Your kit comes with a socket and an integrated circuit. Your audio amplifier goes inside a socket. Unlike before, the integrated circuit will not be directly soldered to the PCB. Instead, the socket will be soldered to the PCB and the integrated circuit will be placed inside the socket. This allows you to use the LM386 for future use. When placing the integrated circuit into the socket, be sure that the notch matches the number one pin on the PCB. Next up is the tuning capacitor. The tuning capacitor has three legs, which you're going to have to bend in order to solder to the board. 
Once you've bent the leads, you place a copper end through the PCB and solder the legs to the board. The tuning capacitor will be used to tune through radio stations similar to a car in the past. In your kit comes a speaker and the adhesive for the speaker. Remove the inner part of the adhesive and then place the outer ring of the adhesive onto the speaker. Be sure to remove the white parts or else the adhesive won't stick to the speaker. Once you've stuck the speaker to the back of the board, we need to connect the wires of the speaker as well as the battery snap. The battery snap comes with the screw should you choose to screw it in before soldering. Next up we have to connect the leads of the speaker to the protoboard. In your kit you have a few jumper wires. Strip them and then connect the speaker leads to the board. Your ferrite rod comes with inductive coils wrapped around it. It also has four wires that you need to place through the PCB. Wire number one is the green wire, wire number two is the red, wire number three is blue, and wire number four is white. Once you've placed the wires through the holes, you can solder them to the board. Once all of the components have been soldered to the board, including the wires from the ferrite rod antenna, please insert your 9 volt battery and try to turn on. I know a lot of people out there want chances to lose. I'm not sure how I feel. I could see it going either way. I think I, I think I actually picked Kansas to win in my brackets that I have, I have since uh, ripped up and chopped up.